Somebody just poked me. It'd be Venice. Venice is always I poking did. people. Was it you, Venice? I did. Are you poking little boys again? I told him we can hear you. <laughs> Venice, what if I told you? I wondered what the fuck that was in my ass though. <laughs> there we go. Christ. Another brilliant opening. <laughs> Let me get up the notes and let's um, get this podcast underway. Notes. Notes. Um, Stop pretending you got notes, Ash. Don't ruin, don't ruin it. They might believe <laughs> don't it. Ruin the they might believe there's some sort of you know organisation, some structure to this. Don't... I've, I've ruined the magic trick now. Oh, God damn it, Craig. You're a saboteur. Look at this. He's like, guys, start already. You're going to run out of material. That's how the podcast works. We don't, we don't have material. Material. We don't have material. Get out of here. Oh, someone's not been listening, have they? Oh, god on <laughs> This is literally like the shittest thing ever. We he's just like, he's genuinely, he's like guys, guys, look, you're going to run out of material. He's like genuinely User concerned. Your channel timed out. Oh, for God's sake. What is up, guys? AshBFC here, and welcome to episode three of the Dead Onion podcast. With me, AshBFC, of course. Also joining me this week, we have got Venice, Plumtree, Wolf, Craig, and for the first time, we have got our special guest, Ryman6000. Hello. How's it going? Thanks for joining us. Okay, gaming news. So, um, first up, uh, Deep Silver have announced that Persona 5 will be launching um, in Europe the same day it's launching in the United States, which is February the 14th, 2017. Um, I assume yes. it was going to be uh, the usual where we probably got it last or something, so that's pretty cool. Actually, I don't know anything about Persona. Have we got any Persona fans here? Not Tumbleweed. really. The you first know. one. As usual, no one's got anything. So, uh, I mean, I've heard of it, but uh, you know, wow. never actually gotten to play it. I was hoping someone would be able to explain it to me, because everyone always raves about like, particular Persona 4, don't they? And I've just never, I don't really know what it's all about. So It's, it's uh, pretty fun. Like, it's like, instead of having, like, um, different moves or whatever, different move sets that you have to select, you just click on another Persona. It goes Whatever. all the way back to the PS1, the main... doesn't it? The first two games, I think. Yeah. The, the PSP is the way to play the first couple. Oh, they on PSP? Hmm. I know Persona... Did Persona 3 and 4 come out on... No, Persona 4 came out on Vita, didn't it? <laughs> Vita. <laughs> yeah. I had one, actually, and I fucking sold it a right load of shite. Um... um... But yeah, that's something that, yeah, I mean, obviously they're launching on the same day, but that really annoys me how, like, there's a lot of games now that they get, like, you know, worldwide release, they all come out for everyone on the same day. But then there's a lot of cases where, like, for us, I don't know about the whole of Europe, but in the UK, like, our, like, launch day is always, like, a Friday, isn't it? And in yeah, the US, usually. it's, like, on a Tuesday. And that's kind of annoying. Why can't we just have them on the same day? Because with the way the internet is now, even though it's just, like, a couple of days there, but it's still so easy to have like a game spoiled for you in those couple of days you know with just the way the internet is now and stuff it's annoying i remember when i was a kid and i used to love it that they came out on the friday because it's like you get home from school or whatever you get you go buy the game and then you've got all weekend to play oh, yeah, it. But, uh, yeah i mean i guess it makes more sense to launch a game on a friday than a tuesday a tuesday seems a bit weird yeah, doesn't it? i yeah. don't really understand that but it is annoying getting the game late especially like if you are one of these youtubers that wants to do the latest game for instance and then it's like if you're british by the time Fucked. you get it, everyone's yeah. fucking done it, so it's yeah. like, oh, okay. And it's a fight anyway with my gaming channels. But <laughs> yeah, I, yeah exactly. I used to try and do that a little bit in the past. I'll, I'll get some like new games out straight away, and it's, oh, for fuck's sake, it's launching first in America. Pointless, forget it. Yeah, um, pretty much. But to be honest, I guess I shouldn't complain too much, because for so many years, like, particularly back in the 90s, here in Europe, we missed out on so much stuff, didn't we? Particularly like oh, yeah. Japanese games. We just never got them. I mean, we, we never got... Um, uh, Chrono Trigger, um, Chrono Cross on PS1. We didn't get Xeno Gears. We missed out on so much stuff. So I guess I shouldn't really complain about. Um, I mean, out of the three sort of major territories, we were the ones that got like shit on the most. So like, yeah. what would happen is like Japan would fil like filter into America, so they would get like you know seventy five percent of the stuff maybe, and then like America would filter into us, so we would end up with like you know fifty percent of the stuff, if that. Yeah. Pretty shitty. Like, was our first Final Fantasy Final Fantasy Seven? No, I think no. it was six. Four. It was. 
It was actually called something else, wasn't it? No, it was in America, was in but for us in Europe. Yeah, in Britain. I'm pretty sure. Fa- no, I'm sure Final Fantasy VII were our first one. Might might have been seven, but I think it might have been six. But I don't know. I because re- I remember someone having six when I was younger, but I don't know if that was like a legit copy or if it was like a chip to PlayStation with a Japanese version. I can't remember. Yeah. So it could have been seven. Yeah. I know it's, in... it's certainly the first one I played anyway. Yeah, I know in uh, North North America it was. I think they released. Did they call it Final Fantasy three? But it was actually Final Fantasy. Six, six, or something like that. It was, it was yeah. weird. It was weird, confusing. Anyway, yeah, the point is, Persona Five mm. launched it the same day. I don't. I, I, I've always meant to get around to playing the Persona games, but I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, next up, um, a game I'm actually really looking forward to. It was announced a while ago, but I'd sort of forgot about it. But it's just got a new trailer. You go check it out. It's called um, Mother Russia Bleeds, which is a pretty awesome name. It's uh, it's like a super violent. Um, side scroll and beat him up very much like you know Double Dragon, Streets of Rage, the sort of stuff I used to love um, as a kid. As I said, it's like crazy violent and it's um, four player as well. So I'm really looking forward to that and that'd be uh, that'd be uh, fun to play with subscribers, get like a full playthrough going. So you know, I don't uh, know, man. Because, because I said it earlier, all I can think of is like some old woman from Russia having a period. No, <laughs> That's all I can think about when you mentioned that game. So you think of some some. It's what it's called. What is it? Mother Russia mother, bleeds. I mean, mother yeah, Russia just, bleeds. Yeah. I mean, so it's Russian just mother just itself. on a period. It pretty much, yeah. You know, like those sort of old Russian women that have those like headscarfs sort of thing. You know, yeah. like those uh, Russian dolls or whatever. Yeah. Imagine one of those with a period, basically. That's all I imagine with that game. I think. That's... I don't know what you got to do. Maybe you got to clean it up or so. I mean, I've got no idea, mate. Yeah, clean it sound of it. Of it. Well, that's. I'd, I'd write that down if I you because I think you've got a, a good. Uh, oh yeah. Good, uh, yeah. Get that yeah write, write that. Write that down, I think EA will take that one. I think to be honest. Because because all the ideas that's free write one, down right. are fucking quality, aren't they? Ash? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we won't even mention uh, Spunky Dumpty. That's for another day. <laughs> not, I don't think we're ready to talk about that. Keep, keep that one. Uh, keep yeah, that one under yeah. hats, mate. You know yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be big one day. Maybe one day we'll we'll talk about Spunky Dumpty. One day. But, uh, yeah, anyway, that's launching on uh, September 5th. I think that looks awesome, so um, check it out if you haven't. Also, free games. Who does not like free video games? Well, um, as part of Ubisoft's 30th anniversary celebration, I didn't even know they were that old. Are they really 30 years? Yeah, they're really 30 years the fucking old. Get old. Um, I didn't know they were that old. That's ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, as part of that celebration, Rim Origins is going to be completely free starting next week on a uh, Uplay. I mean, that's a downside. It's on Uplay, which is complete fucking garbage. Um, yeah. Well. But um, that's the worst. Of, like, even EA's Origin is better. And I feel bad for saying something slightly positive about EA, but it is. It's better. Uplay is just garbage. I hate it. Is- it's funny because like every time I sort of have to play like an EA game or or, or a uh, Ubisoft game, and I have to sort of download you play or Origin after I've played the game, I just uninstall them immediately. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like yeah, they are, they're terrible. I don't need that. The, everything should just be on Steam. I don't know why they even bother. But um, yeah, Rim and Origin, that's a really really good game. So even though it is going to be on you play, that's well worth the download. It's, it's worth paying for, but hell, you got to get it for free. It's a fantastic game. So yeah, Rim Origins is free next week. A new trailer I did see, which looked good, Mafia 3. Do have a new trailer for that. It looks absolutely brilliant. Um, anyone else excited for Mafia 3? Me, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think Very excited for that. Is it October it comes out? October uh, yeah. or something. I'll be honest, I'm so a huge I fan of the uh, original Mafia. I mean, I thought Mafia 2 is a fantastic game, but I'm not going to lie, I was disappointed by a lot yeah, of that same. game. It could have been a lot better, but when they first like revealed Mafia 3, um, I was really disappointed because, like, it's... Is it in the 60s now? Uh, yeah, like, they, 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 They've moved away from the whole Italian Mafia stuff, haven't they? And I was like... Yeah, yeah it's basically, mafia welcome now. to the USA. Welcome yeah, to I was New like, really disappointed by that. And I saw some gameplay footage. I didn't think it looked that good. But the more I've seen of it, the more I, think it, I actually think it looks really, really good now. I'm genuinely excited uh, for that game. I think it looks great. Can't wait for that. Should be good. We'll bring a fresh wind into the series, to be honest. I mean, you still got Vito. Yeah, he's still in it, isn't it? Um... Yeah. He's a bit older now, isn't he? Yeah, he's one of your bosses, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 The guy, what was the guy? Was it Tommy? The guy was called in the first game? I think it was. Tommy, yeah. Yeah, you see, he's actually in Mafia, Mafia 2, isn't he? He gets killed. That's what, yes. is that one of the missions to kill him, isn't it? Yeah, it's basically the mission that ties in with the ending of Mafia 1. Yeah. Yeah, that was pretty cool, that. Yeah, I like that. 
Anyway, that's pretty much all the gaming news. It was a struggle to um, get some of that together, as I said, though, before the podcast, I only spent about five minutes looking for something, so uh, whatever. Um, Stop telling them the secrets. Well, they, they see right through me. They see right through me, you know. Um, that's, yeah, that, that's enough That's enough with the gaming news. And Craig, I have finished with the gaming news now. Yeah, they got me last week because... <laughs> Well, I mean, you said you'd finish, well, it sounded pretty newsy. Well, the next it, bit of, it was, you know. I was talking about some games, I, I, I added the release dates on the end, and you had a right go at me, calling me a liar, because we were still going on with the news, and <laughs> it was uncalled for, to be honest, it was uncalled for. Well, it was uncalled for, mate, the fact that you carried on with the news. I did not. Said, well, the news I mean, you say that. Well, I think people would agree with me. Well, we could sit here all day arguing about that. The, the news is now finished. Which is what we'll do. That That is the rest of the podcast, guys. It's just us <laughs> arguing about this. So yeah. don't, don't carry on listening, mate. So just, go and just, do anything know. else for your life will be better than this, yeah. honestly. Yeah. This, these podcasts, just they get worse and worse every week. So, uh, and it didn't even start high off, you know. The, the bar wasn't set high yeah. to start with, so, you know. You'd think maybe I don't know after... where the fuck we are now. You'd think that after a while, we'd sort of. You may think, well, at first it's going to be a bit rough. We've not done podcasting before. They'll ease into it. They'll get better. We've got worse. We've got worse. Yeah, we're just um, running out of ideas quick. But I strangely take pride in it for some reason. So. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's like if it's if it's going to be shit, then it's got to be the shittest yeah, it can be. You know. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's got to be something. If people are saying it is the world shittest podcast, at least it's something. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so. At least they're talking about it. Yeah, exactly. You know? They're talking. Yeah. Moving on, so uh, No Man's Sky. Yeah, anyone got anything? Anyone played it yet? Any thoughts on it? It's not I... my thing. Nope, no one's got anything on it. Well, I've um, I've sort of avoided reading too much about it really because I think that's the beauty of the type of game it is. Is it's just a discovery game, and to read everything about it before you play it sort of defeats the object, which is probably why people are disappointed. <clears throat> I think that people are disappointed, and it's you know we touched on this I think last time we spoke about it, in that it it is what it is, and it's just a game where you go around discovering things, mm. and there isn't really much to do. It's just like it's visually nice to look at. It's a relaxing yeah. game, like you can chill out with it. <laughs> From the gameplay I've seen, it has a really shitty uh, random generation engine. Because uh, all the iron and shit like that, they, they spawn like sideways and it's kind of weird. What was I'm I... sure, like, well, oh. I'm sure there's going to just be some like bugs and stuff on the initial release that will get yeah. patched. I'm sure it will get better as it goes on, yeah. But I think some people have like gone in there expecting like something else, aren't they? Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, definitely. It, it mainly is about exploring, isn't it? And I think some people when, don't quite get that. When people hear stuff like, you know, 100 quintillion planets or yeah, whatever no, the yeah. stupid number is and stuff, they get this massive image in their head of, like, they can go everywhere they want and do whatever they want, which just isn't the case. At the end of the day, you're in a game that has certain limitations and certain mechanics that you have to abide by. You can't just go and do whatever you want and start, you know, going crazy and, like, I don't, I don't know what they expect, you know what I mean? It's like, you're going around, you're looking at planets, it's chilled out, it's relaxed, get over it. Like, that's all it ever was advertised as being. Yeah. And the fact that people have got this big, like, idea of grandeur in their head this like these huge numbers and you can go and do whatever you want and there's this like massive universe to explore with all these like populations and stuff it's not going to be like that just like get over it you know i mean i've seen little bits of it i mean i think it looks cool you can tell the devs have put a hell of a lot he's been in development for like a good few years hasn't it yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it does look cool i just i know it's the sort of game that maybe i'd play for about three hours or something and i'd get bored and never touch it again um, yeah, I think it could be like that. Yeah, so I just know it'd be a waste of money for me. It might be something I'd possibly get in like a Steam sale or something. Yeah. But it's just, I don't really think it's uh, for me, to be honest. But it's, a, said, it's, a, it's a fucking indie game, you yeah. know? Like, what are they expecting, really? Mm. I mean, it wouldn't have had a ridiculously large budget, will it? No, no. So, uh, it's only a really small team of devs as well, and it's like a oh, yeah. studio full of like shitloads of people like you get with a Ubisoft game or an EA game and stuff like that. Exactly. I think it's pretty much made by like one guy, essentially. Mm, yeah, pretty much. So this is the point now where I chuck a question at you and you guys usually don't have much of an answer and Craig goes completely off topic here, so are you ready for it? <laughs> <laughs> if you have to. I'm going to ask you all, okay. What is the most boring video game you have ever played? What's the most ball aching? Oh, there you go. So boring, your balls ached. <laughs> Damn. So, no man's sky. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say Afterfall Insanity. 
You guys After probably Fall. never heard of it, I've but... Never... Uh, was it After Fall Insanity, did you say? Yeah, I, I got it for free. It was supposed to be a horror game or something like that. But it's too boring. Is it, too is it a newer release? No, 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 no. I oh. think it's an older one. Um, Wolf, have you I got I think one? Outlast was good. Most boring. Uh, well... Basically, E.T. Atari. Yeah, that is... The thing is, though, right... It's a bad game. It sucks. I've you know I've played it. It's it's one of the most infamous video games. We all know the story. How it was buried in landfill. It was one of the. It helped contribute to the video game crash in in uh, nineteen eighty. Was buried in a landfill. Yeah, but people are way too harsh on it. I mean, it was on the Atari, which was an incredibly basic console back then. There was so little you could actually do, and it was made in two weeks by one guy. I don't think it deserves all the stick it gets. To be honest. I'd... Okay, want to hear me another another title then? No, I'm not arguing with you. If you think it's most boring, that's fine. I'm just saying. I, I mean, I'd put Superman sixty four above that like, any day. I, I would happily play ET on Atari. I mean, play Superman sixty four. Craig, have you got one? Uh, not really, mate. I, I've played so many shit games that I found <laughs> boring and just turned off. I couldn't even begin to, you know, name a few. There's just so fucking many of them, to be honest. And the uh, same one. Well, I mean. It was the first one that comes to mind that board that, as I said, your balls ached. It was that bad. I, I, I guess say something that's. Uh, if I say it, it'd be really controversial. You'll hate me forever. Just do it. All right. Are you, 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 you ready to hate me forever? Are you about to yeah. Say, are you about to say Metal what, Gear what? Solid? Metal Gear Solid Three. It's so boring to me. Like it was so fucking slow and boring. I just gave up like twenty, like I don't know, like four hours into it. I, I, I completed one and two. Like got to three, so fucking excited to play it, and then I played it for like four hours and was just like, yeah, this is fucking boring. Like I'm just sitting in a bush for half the fucking time. I don't know. Like it just bored you were sitting in me. a bush. Are you, are you, are you sure you played Metal Gear Solid Three? Kind of me. Boy. Not it's my favorite I, I, Metal Gear Solid game. So. It was, it, it, was like, me. it was just like so fucking slow. Like it was so fucking slow, and like the storyline with like the long ass cutscenes that were just so up their own ass. I was just like, oh, this is just bullshit. Like I, I just can't be asked with this. I mean, Craig, I mean, how dare you have a different opinion to me? How fucking dare you? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? How dare <laughs> you? Hey, I'm sorry, I don't like black <laughs> cock up my ass. Well, no, <laughs> you should. I don't even think you've tried it, to be honest. You know. Uh, what about you, uh, Raman? Have you got a most boring game? Call me Deep Throat. Uh, yeah, um, pretty overrated too, I thought. Uh, Slenderman, I thought that was, oh my god. What game was that? Completely boring. Uh, Slenderman. Slenderman. Game was, yeah. <laughs> but everyone loved it when it first came out. I tried playing it, I was like, I don't understand why everyone loves it so much. It's not even scary. No, it's, it's pretty shit, isn't it? Is that, you're just collecting notes, are you, in that game? To me, though, the most boring game that I can remember was a game called Sim Isle. I think it was called Sim, Sim, yeah, yeah, Sim yeah, Isle yeah. Missions in... Was it Missions in the Rainforest? I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I've got it somewhere. I've got What the is Sim that games. game about? Like, because when I was, obviously when I was a kid, I was there was all sorts of Sim games where we had... Because we had yeah, Sim yeah. City and that, they were fantastic. Sim, Sim Ant. Yeah, they did Sim Farm, Sim Tower, Sim Penis. I can make that one up. Yeah. But they did all sorts <laughs> of these Sim games. I was like, whoa, Sim Isle? I get to build my own island and stuff. And it's the most bullyingly dull game I have ever played. It's garbage. It's just... look. See, if, I, I'm surprised if anyone's actually done a playthrough because I don't know why I want to watch that. But it just... It's so boring. I don't understand it. It doesn't make any sense. You don't really well, there's your, get to build there's your that 15, much. There's your 15,000 subspecial. Sim Isle. Get oh, on it, Ash. Jesus. Not that you're going to be at 15,000 subs no, anytime soon, happen. but write that one down. Once I go back to 10,000, when I go back, we'll celebrate 10,000 <laughs> yeah, again. I'll, 10, play, special. I'll play Sim Isle. But if you haven't... If you're not seen that game, see, I'm, there probably is someone that's, this someone's done everything on YouTube, but see if you can find a video of Sim Isle, and you'll know what I mean with, it's just, to me, without a doubt, the most boring game I've ever played. I don't even, it might have not helped that I didn't understand how to play it. I kind of thought it was just going to be like Sim City, and it's not, it's, it's, oh, yeah. it's terrible. I've, I've got it somewhere. I hate all yeah. the shit where, like, you pre-order a game, and if you pre-order it from one shop, you get one special character. If you pre-order it from another shop, you get a different special character and all that sort of Oh, thing. my it's God, like, pre-order bonuses. Kind of bull yeah, what kind of bullshit is I that? I despise like... pre-orders. Right, to me, I've, I might have already talked about this in a video on my channel, but I do not understand pre-ordering these days. There's no need for it, is there? Like, I used no. to pre-order games back in the day because they didn't ship that many copies to your local store. Yeah, exactly. There was, like, was 30 to, it was to copies. to ensure that you'd get it. 
Yeah, it was. Yeah. Mm. You don't need to pre-order anymore, especially now in the digital age where people are buying stuff online. I mean, yeah. there's only one reason. You can uh, preload the game, so when it gets launched, you can uh, play it right away. Yeah, but uh, that's I mean, the only I mean, reason. Do you know what, what I see? And I have talked mm. about this before. Pre-order bonuses. I hate them. They need to go away. They've actually they've yeah. got work. They've started off as little things, but there has been games that have like was there not a game that locked a difficulty behind a pre-order bonus or something like that? Uh, Metro, yeah, Metro there's something Light, ridiculous like that. But I don't, I don't see a pre-order bonus as all right. Here's what you get for you know pre-ordering like a little reward or something. I see it as a punishment. Okay, so if you if you want to wait for reviews and stuff, then fuck you. You're not getting this. Do you know what I mean? That's the way I well, see that's, it. Well, that's 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 sort of, you know part of the strategy in a way is the fact that if they know they're going to get shit reviews, then they give loads of pre-order bonuses. People will pre-order it and they'll they'll buy it before they know it's shit, you know. And then there's it, nothing they can do. For most games now, I think it's a terrible idea to pre-order because the amount of broken games that get launched is ridiculous. Well, I, I, I I'm like not a impatient person so i always wait for games really yeah and you, you're always better doing it because a you get them cheaper and b you get the fully patched final yeah. version of the game i mean some games have come out and publishers purpose they purposely release them they know they're a mess but they just want to get them out in the time for like like assassin's creed was it unity yeah it was unity. Yep. yeah that was a mess weren't it ubisoft knew it was a mess yeah. but they were like we're getting this out in time for holidays and that where it was as simple as that they like we know it'll sell. We'll apologise later, and everyone will forget about it. But uh, yeah, you just, just you just really don't want to be pre-ordering no, games. Yeah. It just doesn't make it any just... sense to me. Right here we go. It's time for the quiz. So the first question is going to Craig and Wolf. Are you guys ready? You're going to have twenty seconds to answer. Yeah, you ready? Go. What does Sega stand for? Clock's ticking. What? Oh man, I, I didn't even know it stood for anything. Yeah, it stands for something. And it, it's English, what it stands for. Oh, that's much clues I'm going to give you. Oh. I don't think we got an idea. I'm going I'm to pass. If you got the answer, Wolf, then go for it. But I'll just pass, mate. Well, time's up, so no points for you. It actually I was trying to find. For... I, was, I was trying to think of something funny to like place into the, you know, as uh, as, as an acronym, but I couldn't think of anything. So rubbish, yeah, Craig, absolute rubbish, lackluster effort there. It actually no, stands no, for Service Games. So you have zero points. Okay, next question over to Venice <laughs> and Ramen. This is actually quite an easy one. What's the best-selling video game console of all time? We. I think this is an easy question. Is that, is, that Wii. is that your final answer? <laughs> Ramon, do you agree? Uh, yeah, let's go for Nintendo it. Wii. Wrong. It's the PlayStation yeah, 2. Yeah. PlayStation is, is, is that, is, I was can thinking we steal PlayStation the 2 or uh, Wii, but... The well, next question, back to Craig and Wolf. What year did the video game industry crash? 83. That is correct. There you go, I got yourself a point. Uh, to Venice and Ramen, your next question is... What's the best-selling game of all time? Oh, boy, shit. Easy. I'm gonna guess one of the Mario's. Probably. Uh... Is that one of I'm the gonna Mario's? guess uh, GTA 3, probably. GTA 3? No, 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 no. San, San Andreas. Okay, so what do you want to go for? San Andreas or say... Mario? You said Mario, didn't you? Yeah, I said Mario. What are you That's going what with? I think. No, let's go with Romans. Mario? Yeah, the original. Oh, yeah. The original well, Mario? It's got to be 20 seconds past now. Aren't yeah, it passed. But we'll take your answer. It's actually Tetris. What was the name of Sega's first ever video game console? Do you know it, Wolf? I'm going to go know. with the Master System. I will. I fucking give up, to be honest. Okay. You gonna go with the Master System? I will have to, because, yeah. Okay, that is wrong, so I'm gonna throw it over to you, Venice and Ramon. Do you have an answer? Oh boy. Uh, I don't know. Nope, pass. Neither do I, and no shit about Sega consoles. It was That's actually cool. The truth is, I didn't actually know about this for a years, but it was actually called the SG-1000. What? Never heard what? Of it. 
Okay. It came out in the early it. 80s, so yeah, I for a long time I thought it was the Master System, but uh, it's not, so it remains 1-0. Okay, next question, which is to Venice and Raman. You ready? True or yes. false? Yep. Nintendo was founded in 1889. False. False. Go with false? Yes. Yep. Wrong. It's true. What? True. That's a, that's a question I can't throw over because it's true or false, so you know. Yeah. But yeah, it's mm. uh, true. 1889 they were founded. All right, uh, back to Craig and Wolf. What is Solid Snake's real name? David. Yeah. You know, David? Come on. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. Correct, David. So it's now. You're giving them the easy questions. Look, it's just these. What's his last name? <laughs> you, ha you had a true or false question. I mean, come on. Shut up. <laughs> Well, it's like has not a last name because he never mentions it. Okay, Venice and Raman. What was the name of the first Elder Scrolls game? Arena. Go with um, Arena. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. Yep, that is correct. Got yourself a point. I'm, I'm the Bethesda master. I know all about fucking Elder Scrolls. Well, there you go. So it's a uh, two-one. Okay, Craig and Wolf. What year? Was a Nintendo Game Boy released? Um, um, oh. the original Man. Nintendo Game Boy. Uh, yeah. um, I'm gonna say I want to go with like 91, but that's a complete Can I guess. steal the point? 98, I think. 98. Can I steal the point? Are you gonna go with it? Cause you no, wait, wait, no, no, no. Okay. 89, sorry. No, uh, yeah, I'll go with, I'll go with 91. Answer? Can I steal the point? 91. Well, just wait for the fucking Venice. I mean, you have to steal the point before guys, I guys, come on. over. Is that your final answer? 89. Right, we'll go with Wolves. We'll go with 81. Uh, 89. 89. Yeah, 89. We'll go with that. You said 98 at first, Wolf. Yeah, I had a, well, got a little bit confused sure? with the... He just quickly he Googled was... it and... He oh, changed, changed... Google it. No, he, he said 89 before the question was over, so... Yeah, it was 1989, so there you go. He got his whole point. Again with Nintendo. True or false? Nintendo roughly translates... To leave, look to heaven. True or false? Um, leave, look to heaven. I'm gonna go with true, because Japan or something. I don't know. You go with. Yeah, true? I'll just go with that. That is correct. It is true. So nice. Point. It's three two. Nice. Which game director coined the term quick time event? Oh my god! Like I know it, but I can't even think of what his name he didn't is. Didn't invent it. He just came up with a name. Oh, you Suzuki. Yeah. You going with you, Suzuki? Yeah. That is correct. Yeah. yeah. Of course, you, uh, Suzuki, is <laughs> the creator of Shemu. Okay, for Venice and Ramen. What console was codenamed the Dolphin? Uh, for GameCube. Can I steal it? GameCube. You know the GameCube? Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go get the GameCube. Yeah. That is true. It was the Nintendo GameCube. Ah, oh, damn. What's it? Here you go. You got yourself a Zelda question, Craig and Wolf. What's the first temple in Ocarina of Time? Temple, not dungeon. It's the first temple. Oh, oh shit, do you know? No, I don't know. No answer. Take a guess, man. Time's up. Uh, well, I don't you know. Want to take a guess quickly. Uh, no idea. No idea, mate. I'll throw it over to uh, Venice and Ramen. Do you, uh, do you know what it is? Mm, yeah, the uh, first one? The first temple. Mm, I mean, the first game, yeah? Ocarina of Time. Oh, oh, um... Fuck. I, I don't know the name of the temple, but I know what it is. No, so no, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the one. It's the forest temple. Yeah. Fuck. So, Venice and Rama, next question. How many stars are they? In Super Mario 64. Oh, boy. Uh, I can't do you know? No. Um, I'm gonna go with fucking 149. 149. That number just is in my head. Okay, that was your final answer. It is yes. incorrect. Yes. Craig and Wolf, do you want to steal a point? Yeah, I think it's 120. Yeah. It is, it's yeah. 120. Yeah. Back. Currently stands at 5 3. Craig and Wolf, next question. What was the name of the first home video game console ever? Um, I want to say Pong, but I don't know if that's the name of the console. 
<laughs> That's the know. name of the game, mate. Yeah, but they might have called the console as, as, as well. I don't know. Do you know? Yeah, I don't know, man. Nope, Fuck know. it. I just say pong. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Tans, that is incorrect. <laughs> I'll throw over to you. Oh, you want to steal a point, Venice, Roman? Magnum Oxodacy. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Get yourself a point there. This is Venice and Roman. And the Zelda yes, question. Zelda. What piece of Triforce does Link normally have? What piece? What do you mean? Well, you've got courage, you've got uh, power, oh. and wisdom. Yeah, You want to take this, Ramen? Time's no. up. Do you want to steal a point? Yeah, yes. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I you go. Wolf. I'm gonna go with courage. Yeah, that's yeah, what I said. Yeah, the triforce of courage. So there you go. Courage. He's the brave boy. Okay, Venice and Ramen. Next question. What game was the American version of Super Mario Bros. 2 based on? Think of it. Hmm. Yeah, yeah I can't oh, remember oh. the name. My. Okay, time's up. Do you want to steal a point, Wolf and Craig? Do you know the name Wolf? Nah, oh, man. It's like it's like Ducky Ducky or something like that, but I can't. Ducky Ducky Panic or something. Something Panic, but I don't remember <sighs> the specific oh, yeah. name. Only Ducky Ducky Panic. Yeah, yeah, that'll do. Yeah, that's actually right. Oh, I think it? it's pronounced oh, Okie wow. Dokie, but we'll go Okie Dokie. Yeah. There you go. That's close enough. <laughs> seven four. I think you might have got this, Craig and Wolf. Okay, so next question to Craig and Wolf. Princess Peach has also been known as Princess What? Toadstool. Yes. Going with Toadstool? Yeah. Yeah, Toadstool, man. You are correct. Yeah. You're now on eight points. What was the first ever home console RPG? Uh, yeah. Okay, I don't really know this one, but I'm gonna go with Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy? Final Answer? It's yeah. probably not. It's actually it isn't, but yeah, Final Answer. Yeah, time's up. It's not Final Fantasy. Uh, Craig Wolf, do you want to steal a point? I want to say something like Dungeon Explorer, but I don't think that's right. But I'm gonna say that unless you've got something better, Wolf. Uh, I have no fucking idea. Dungeon Explorer, then. Why not? Nope. Dragon Warrior, aka Dragon yeah. Quest. Oh my god, the games. The smell, the vibration. The the smell. Next question for Craig and Wolf. It's okay. under true or false. True or false, in Sonic the Hedgehog, the original, on the Sega Mega Drive, up, down, left, right, A and start, was the level select cheat. True or false? Or. What, what do you think, Wolf? I, I think or. What? <laughs> no, um, I I'm think uh, I think false. Yeah, I'm gonna get false as well. You go false. Incorrect. It's true. You what, mate? Come, on, guys, I need to get these questions right so I can end this fucking quiz. Come on. <laughs> there, Ash. Uh, <laughs> I just sent you one. Yeah. Okay, Venice and Roman. What was the first movie license game? E.T. E I'm gonna go with E.T. Final answer, E.T.? Yep, yep. Yeah. Wrong. Can we steal? Yep, you wanna steal a point? Do you know it, Wolf? Um... Oh. I guess he doesn't know. I mean, <sighs> I'm, I'm just gonna guess at Indiana Jones, why not? Indiana Jones. No, apparently it was Death Race. Okay, Craig and Wolf. Next question. Soap <sighs> McTavish is a character from what game? What was the name? Call of Duty Modern here? Warfare 4. Okay, we'll go with that. Call of Duty 4? <laughs> Modern Warfare or Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4? <laughs> Sorry, yeah. Cod <laughs> Did they got to a 4 Modern, Modern Warfare, Warfare, so... Yeah, correct. It is Call of Duty 4. You just need one more point to win. What game series is the Master Chief from? Oh, I don't know. They don't know, mate. So might as well. Do you want to steal a point? It's Halo. Yeah, yeah, it's Halo. It's Halo, it's Halo no. mate. It's Halo. <laughs> Craig and Wolf. The boss of the game answered this question correctly. What is the best-selling video game series? 
of all time. Uh, uh, I don't know what you think, Wolf, but I'd go Grand Theft Auto, but I'm not sure. Um. Well... Um, I... Time's nearly up. I'm going to have to go um, Grand Theft Auto because I don't know. Yeah. <sighs> incorrect. I say Mario. No, what? Um, was that what you were? Okay. You going with Mario? I just said Mario, but... If... Well, time was up, so it doesn't count. Okay, Vanish Roman, you want to steal a point? Yep. What are you going to say? I'm going to say back Call of with... Duty. Call Duty. Oh, I was thinking Mario again. No. <laughs> we go Mario or Call of Duty. Uh, I don't know. Finish, you want to give your final answer? I'm gonna say Call of Duty and probably regret it. You are gonna regret it, it's Mario. Are you oh, kidding me? Are you fucking having a laugh right now? That's so easy! <laughs> I honestly thought you'd have got that. What is the name of the four ghosts in Pac Man? In what? Pac Man. <laughs> Pac Man. The ghosts. What oh, Pac-Man. I would think it was like Yinky, Pinky, and Dinky or something like that. Mm. So yeah, that's my answer. Ramen, you got anything? No. So what did you say? Inky, Pinky, and Dinky. Do you think we should give him a point for getting two of them? Yeah. I mean, they didn't even name three, yeah. and you want to give them a, a point. They didn't even name four. <laughs> they named three. Yeah, I meant four. They didn't even name I four. I can name all four. Jesus. All four? Yes. I should have thrown the question over, shouldn't I? But they'd already named Well, them. no, I know the answer, so oh, yeah. yeah. good point. That was Craig's yeah. question. Craig's shit question. You can blame him for that. How was that a shit question? <laughs> That's a good question. Keep pinky... Keep pinky Blink. blinky, and then and it's Clyde. like some name. It's it's Clyde. Yeah, Clyde. Was it, was it um, something it's Clyde, like mate. Spunky Dumpty or something like that? <laughs> yeah. No, it's Clyde. No, yeah, it's Inky Pinky Blinky, Blinky and Clyde. Dumpty. Okay, Craig and Wolf. Surely this is going to win you the game because it's an incredibly easy question. <sighs> Cheeky so here we go. So from we can't Sonic get over the line. <laughs> so from Sonic the Hedgehog, what is Dr. Eggman also known as? Robotnik. Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> Final answer. Yeah. Yeah, Robotnik, mate. There you go. It is Ivan Robotnik. Great yeah, wolf, the crowd going wild. The, the crowd going wild. Oh, mate, the crowd are going crazy here. They're going mental, it's fucking. It's they? mayhem. It is mayhem. Do, do, Plus I get my clothes ripped they're saying off. This, is, this is the greatest feature ever in a podcast, is what they're saying. All, all the women are taking their tops off for oh, us. God. Wolf, they're, they're going crazy. They're throwing their, their knickers at us, mate. It's brilliant. I know, Lamis. That's for knickers. sure. All right. So oh, I can so use that so one as a tent. I can use that one as a tent. Fucking hell. Oh, oh fuck. Is Wolf was talking then with a mouthful of cock. <laughs> well, you shouldn't be surprised. That's nothing new. We just we just oh, won the quiz, mate. That's his prize. <laughs> yeah, is that what he won? Yeah, he won, he won a mouth for the cup. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask you? Is that that surprise a mouthful of cock? <laughs> oh, Basically. God. Best those, quiz those ever. Girls that were throwing her breath at us I don't are believe this. Right, everyone's having a laugh. He's saying he fell asleep. What's his problem? That was amazing. <laughs> you just missed the world's greatest quiz. <laughs> fell asleep. And a mouthful of cock. <laughs> Wolf just won a mouthful of cock. <laughs> <laughs> no, not very. You won the prize to close your eyes and open your mouth, and here it comes. <laughs> Oh yeah, Albert, you said you was going to subscribe to the uh, winners, so go subscribe to uh, Nomad Gamer and uh, Wolf. Yes. Do it, do it now! There you go. All because right, this, this who, feature who, who has gone might... down a storm. They're going to be... <laughs> Us listeners are going to be livid if there's no quiz. This is what they're tuning in for. They're tuning in for the quiz. All right? Fuck it. Oh, mate, okay. This is an award-winning my... feature. My, my dog ate my quiz questions. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> 
for, for the record, for the record, for I record. had not the mouth full of cocks. I that was just a fucking chicken McNugget. Was that just for the for the record? For the with the record? <laughs> for the record. For the record. For the record. Wolf, get the cock out your mouth and tell us what you need to say. I don't have a cock in my mouth, man. Take right. a dick it's off. It's in his ass okay? now, mate. It's All right, it's a different hole. <laughs> Yeah, you can't suck it forever. Ball. You you can't just tease it with a suck. You've got to bend over eventually, mate. Oi, mate. I feel like that's a good ending to the podcast. So let's wrap it up right there. <laughs> <laughs> Wolf salty mouth. <laughs> so guys, as always, thank you so much a for listening. Uh, we may or may not see you next week. Actually, there might not be a podcast, but if not, just then fuck you, the week after. If there is, I mean, don't forget to tune in for more amazing topics like, you exactly. know, pedophilia, ladyboys, yeah, you know, all, yeah. all, all, all the good all, stuff, all the good, all the good stuff. stuff. Always Turn good. Turn this cleared, Epsilon I'd, 5, I mean, you know, and that stuff. I'd say this is possibly the best podcast we've ever done, <laughs> so... Uh, best post podcast I think ever we're made. improving, I think we're improving. It's still shit, but... Yeah, you know. yeah, it's, it's always going to be shit, we're never going to get away from that, but... Uh, I think it was improvement <laughs> from last week. We're never going to get away from that. Yeah. It's like we're never going to get away from the fact that it's shit. But you yeah, know. that's always going to be the case. They've come to expect that. I think. I think if one week we turn up and did a top quality podcast, I think people will be annoyed. They'd be so, leaving in droves, yeah, mate. They'd, they'd, be, they'd, they'd be gone. They'd be, be rubbish. Like, won, this you know. is what I view. You, you know, this is what I tune in for. I tune yeah. in for the shit. Exactly. So uh, there you go. Another shitty podcast in the bag. Thanks for listening, guys. We'll see you on the in next the bag. one. Sorry for ruining your little outro. You dickhead. I thought I had to, I had to repeat your in the bag because it just made me fucking laugh. What's in funny the about bag. in the bag? Like it's, in, it's in the like, bag. Like, like, like you've ticked it off. Like in yeah. the bag, that one's done. done. Proper job. Done. Another, another fantastic <laughs> podcast.